So when you're about to perform a hypothesis test, you need to identify whether you're looking at a one-tail hypothesis test or a two-tail hypothesis test. Okay? And that can be inferred from the uh, null and alternative hypotheses that you have, or well, really the alternative one. Okay? So if we were looking at uh, a binomial hypothesis test, which we will look at in more detail in the next section along, okay, then what we have is a situation where we say, right, well, H0, the null hypothesis, would state that the probability of event happening is as we think it is. So it might be that through, uh, historically, we found that the probability of something happening is 0 0.6. Okay? Now, the alternative hypothesis may well be that we think that actually that probability has decreased. So we would look at an alternative where it's less than 0 0.6. Or we might think that uh, the probability has actually increased. And so the probability is greater than 0 0.6. If instead we think the probability is different to 0 0.6, then we might write down probability is not equal to 0 0.6. Now subsequently, what then happens is we now have to deal with a two-tail test rather than a one-tail. Because instead of just looking at, in this case, the lower end, okay, or in this case, the upper end, we must instead look at both tails. Okay? And that region that I'm looking for, maybe if we were doing a, uh, let's say we were doing a 10% significance level, then we will be looking at the 10% at the bottom, or the 10% at the top. But in two-tail, it's a 10% significance level split over two regions. And so we'd have to look at 5% there and 5% there. And so the two-tail test, what will happen is you'll look at both ends, and the key uh, thing that happens that is different to the one tail is that you must halve the significance level because it is shared over the two tails. Okay, So that's what you must consider. And there may well be some questions that you come across uh, in exams or um, in textbooks where you've got to explain uh, your uh, alternative hypothesis. And really, the key identifying features that are that you're looking for are the words less than, or greater than, or different to, or not equal to.